Bye, Bodog. See you later, Bodog. Bye. <laughs> What's up? Drive still day. Hey. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Callie's here again. Oh Guess that, Callie. Oh. We're going garage sale in round three with Callie. Is what that a, three? There it is. Yeah, I just, oh, man, we're really good <laughs> at arriving today. Uh, <laughs> it's a cold Florida day, so we're kind of out of it. And it's early. We didn't want to wake up this morning, but we're yeah. going to go and see what's out there anyway. We're all bundled up. <laughs> so, uh. <laughs> as bundled up as you could be for Florida. <laughs> we'll let you guys know what's going on. We just made our first purchase of the day. Picked up a little Kindle, paper white. It was marked 25 bucks, paid 20 for it. It's a pretty quick, easy double money on this one. Uh, on the back of Kindles, it, they always have the model number. So that's a really easy way while you're out there to look it up quickly and find the comps. So 20 bucks, it'll sell for around 50, so we'll double our money on that. Good first buy. Yay. <laughs> Worst community garage sale ever. Back. Don't advertise a community garage sale if your community's not gonna have garage sales. <laughs> Birds. The wildlife is out. I need a pee. Squatty potty. Uh, video can wait. <laughs> the garage sales were meh today. Meh. Not super great. But not every day can be a great day. I'll show you guys what we got a little bit later. We got some okay stuff, but. Nothing too, too great. Yeah. It was Callie's fault. Sorry. Boo! Boo, Callie! Boo. 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 didn't say wake up and get some! Oh! Okay, so not the craziest haul from this weekend, garage sales, but I'm just happy that we live in Florida and there's garage sales year round. So I'm gonna show you the stuff that we got. Uh, it took us about, it took us about four hours out there. This time it was a real grinder. There weren't any big ticket items, but we did find some really good stuff to resell. Um, and actually from yesterday was when the garage sales happened till today we've already sold two of the things we bought. So I'm gonna show you everything that we bought and how much we can sell it for. So first thing is these little Coca-Cola Matchbox cars, little collector's items. Uh, usually when stuff says collectible on it, it's not gonna be very good to resell, but if you can get it cheap enough, they're pretty good. So these I believe we got for three bucks and they sell for around 18 bucks a pop. Little Tampa Bay Bucks New Era hat. Good condition, unique little bill on it. Uh, these we get about 15 to 20 bucks for and we paid a dollar. Got a brand new in the box, Xbox 360 wireless controller. These are great guys, these sell super fast. Uh, we'll make, should make about $20 net profit on this, paid uh, 10 bucks for it. They sell for about 30 to $35. This one's pretty interesting, it's wallpaper. <laughs> we don't make a, a point of buying wallpaper but uh, this one in particular had a decent pattern on it and it is high quality vinyl wallpaper and it's from Sherwin Williams. So uh, we looked it up, I just scanned the barcode and this sells for around $40, we got it for 50 cents. So nice return there. Got some original Nintendo games, not super high end games, uh, but we paid a dollar each and they sell for about 10 bucks a pop. So. Got three PlayStation 3 games. Two of them are Lego and one of them is Ratchet and Clank. Uh, these I've already listed as an auction and there's already quite a few bids on them. So they'll sell well. Love Game Boy stuff. This is a Game Boy Advance purple color. Uh, it came with, let's see, one, two, three, four games. Super Mario. It came with the Fire Emblem, the Sacred Stones. Just this game's worth 20 bucks, so. Uh, this one we're running as an auction as well, and it already has pretty decent bids on it. Five days left. Oh, while we're talking about games, uh, we sold already from that garage sale, we sold a Mario Party 5 GameCube game. We paid a dollar for it, and that sold for 45 bucks. So definitely look out for Mario-related games. Even the older ones sell for really good money. And then we also already sold, it's a, uh, a Motorola Roadster 2 Bluetooth car kit. Paid $5 for that. Um, and that sold for $40 even already. Got some pretty neat Hello Kitty vans. Pretty decent sales. They'll start, probably sell for around 20 to 25 bucks. Uh, we paid three for them. Texas Instruments calculators sell really well. 
Um, the higher end ones, like the TI-84, TI-85, TI-86 Plus, those are the ones you want to look for. Uh, but anything that's new, definitely buy. So this thing we paid six bucks for and we'll sell it for $25 all day long. Uh, this thing was kind of different. I've never sold this before, but it's a, a radio controller, um, two channel AM radio control system. And it had a sticker price on it of $69.95 and it was an older sticker. So I figured I'd look it up. So they're selling online for about 65 bucks free shipping and we paid 10 bucks for it. So pretty decent little profit on that too. You can see a lot of the stuff that we found at garage sales this week uh, was newer stuff. That's not because we didn't look at the used stuff. It's just what we were able to find. So we were looking at the shoes and the clothes and that kind of stuff, but there just wasn't a whole lot out there. So we focused more on the hard goods and the new stuff that we could find. Uh, Sims 2 game, about 20 bucks, paid two. This one's interesting. It's a Sony Dream Machine alarm clock. It's got a little like pop out thing for iPods or whatever. It's a bit of an older system, but they sell, they still sell for about 50 bucks and I only paid, I believe we paid $8 for this one. So pretty decent there too. We got two pairs of Sperry's, both the same size, uh, different sh style shoes, but they'll both sell together in, in one lot. Um, I'm assuming we'll probably list these around 40 to 50 bucks and paid $5 for both pairs. So again, not too bad of a return there. This thing's super cool. It's a, it's by VTech, that brand VTech that does like the children's education games, but this one's so retro. <laughs> it's a, it's called a learning window teaching machine with pictures, music, and words. I uh, ended up paying $3 for it. And I believe they sell around 40 with shipping. So not huge money again on this stuff, but really interesting things. We also picked up some super cool windbreakers at these garage sales. We got three of them all from different garage sales, uh, but they're all vintage and really, really good condition. So look out for those vintage windbreakers. They sell really well. Uh, we picked up this one here. It's a starter dolphins windbreaker. Really neat, awesome condition. Um, that's probably 20 to 30 bucks right there. We got this, again, vintage Bodogs windbreaker. It's a button up snap button windbreaker. Um, it's by Don Allison Athletic, Rochester, New York. Um, this thing, I believe, we'll see how it, how it does, but it's really high quality. The, the stitching on the back is a leather, a leather stitched. Um, so it's really nice. I think that'll sell for about 50 bucks. And then the last one we found was this Tommy Jeans, Tommy Jeans button, hoodie, windbreaker. Um, these things are killer, guys. This will sell for probably 60 to 75 bucks. Paid $2.50 for it. So definitely keep an eye out for those vintage windbreakers, especially those brands like Tommy um, or the, the sports brands the vintage ones sell really, really well. And that's about it. Like I said, not a huge day garage selling. We had to literally go out there and grind it out for four hours. Most of the time we go out and we find stuff immediately and we usually find a big ticket item while we're out there. This wasn't one of those days. This was one of those days where we had to really look for the stuff and find things that uh, uh, we may not have been looking for in the past. Um, but we did find some stuff. We found some really good stuff and some of it sold already, which is nice. Uh, but again, we're just happy that there's garage sales year round in Florida. Um, if you don't have garage sales where you are, definitely still go hit those thrift stores uh, and get out there and buy stuff. This time of the year, December, Christmas is coming up. Make sure that you're out there buying stuff and listing it quickly and selling it. See you later, guys.